Greetings again, Every Nation family. Pastor Phil here. Once again, we're praying so much for you. Thank you again for all that you're doing in this hour. I want to share some few more thoughts about the power of praise. First time we talked about how praise was releases the power of God into the circumstances of our life. I talked a little bit about how really the scriptures say praise is a sacrifice and what we have to do to get in a position to lift our voices in praise. I want to talk to you just for a few moments and encourage you about praise as a supernatural weapon against the enemy, against the forces of darkness. As you know so well, Paul writes here in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 12, in verse 12, and he says, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers of darkness and wickedness, all the demonic elements. That is our enemy, our real enemy. Our enemy is not what we can see or feel, but it's the adversary, the world forces of darkness. I can't emphasize this enough, uh, beloved, that the adversary is relentless against all of us who are preaching this gospel. And I realize in this hour, all the natural circumstances that are out there Yet we must understand the, the, the enemy and the dark element that's also part of everything that's going on on this world right now. That's why it's important to see that praise is a weapon that God uses to rout the darkness. We see how this works in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. When King Jehoshaphat sends the praisers out in front of his army in verse 22 to go out before the army, the praisers went and began to give God praise. And as that happened, the mighty angels of God came down and routed the armies of the Ammonites and the Moabites. And beloved, this is what happens when we begin to give God praise in the dark hours, in the difficult hours. In this moment when we hear different reports that cause us to feel anxious or, or feel fearful, that is a sign, a symptom of the demonic and a signal to give God praise and to release praise through our voice to begin to praise Him. When we feel the, the oppression and the fear of, of, of our situations right now, I encourage you, lift your voice in praise, and that weapon, God's power comes and will drive the forces of darkness back. That's why Paul finally writes in Philippians chapter 4. It was in the, the, the city of Philippi where he and Silas were imprisoned and Demonic elements were involved, the natural elements were involved, and they were shackled and chained, and they gave God praise. His power came, and miracles happened. That's why Paul finally, in that letter to Philippians, writes in Philippians 4, Rejoice always. Always rejoice. Always. Let your strong spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near in this. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Praise. Make your requests known to God, and the God of peace will stand guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. That's the power of praise. That's what it will do. Paul knew it, experienced it and says, and, it, and encourages us to give Him praise. And I encourage you now, in the, in, in the everyday challenges that we're facing right now, 
Give God a sacrifice of praise and watch His power go to work and change things. In His way, in His time, it will happen in the mighty name of Jesus. Love you much. Thank you.